Praise the Lord, Pastor Morris again, here on Gospel Talk, discussing the gospel of Jesus Christ, the purpose of God for you and for me through Jesus Christ. I would like you to invite somebody, like it, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's spread the gospel of Jesus Christ together. Today, I want to discuss something also that is very, very important. I want to talk about healing, bodily healing. The healing of the body is healing is a key part of the gospel of Jesus Christ. When Jesus came and died on the cross, the price that he paid, the sacrifice that he gave of himself, that sacrifice included the salvation of your soul, the healing of your body, the setting free of your mind. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ addressed every sphere every dimension, if you like, of human existence. There is no aspect of human existence that was neglected or that was left out by the gospel or by the death and the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. It was complete. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, he secured a complete salvation. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12, he secured a complete salvation. For that salvation, therefore, to be complete, it must include the bodily healing. It must include the, the healing of the human body. And today, I want to talk to you about the reality of healing, the reality of what Christ has done for us, so that wherever you are, even as you are watching this clip, as you are watching Gospel Talk today, expect God to heal you. Expect cancer to go. Expect asthma, fibroids, swellings to disappear because healing is a major part of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He says, preach the word, heal the sick, cast out devils, and raise the dead. I want to look at the book of Matthew. Look, let's look at the life of Jesus Christ because that's our model, that's our pattern. He says in chapter 4, verse 23, Bible says, and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And then he says, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. The first question, what kinds of sicknesses, what kinds of diseases was Christ healing? What kind of sicknesses is God able to heal? The Bible clearly tells us he healed all kinds. Within your mind, don't entertain the thought that there are certain kinds of sicknesses that God cannot heal or certain kinds or types of diseases that your Savior cannot heal. The Bible says he healed all kinds. Even now, even today, in our generation, he heals all kinds of diseases, all kinds of sicknesses. That's what he does. His power has not reduced. His power has not diminished. There is no medical condition that is beyond God's capacity and ability to heal. Jesus healed all. Today, he still heals all. There is no sickness he doesn't heal. Let me look at, uh, proceed in, 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 in uh, uh, reading here. The, the Bible says, Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, paralytics, and he healed them. What was the condition for healing? Because sometimes people have put step one, step two for healing. According to what I see, the only thing that happened is that they brought him, they brought the sickness, the sick, they brought those who are tormented, they brought the epileptics, they brought the demon possessed to Christ. And when they came to where Christ was, Christ healed them. I don't see any condition here. Jesus loves healing. He healed 
all of them. God loves helping people. Amen. Receive that as a reality. He loves healing. He loves healing. He loves healing. And, when, and as you receive that, receive your healing also. Amen. I want to look at a, a particular verse also in the, in the same book of Matthew chapter 8. The Bible says in verse, verse uh, 2, the Bible says, And behold, a leper came and worshipped him. A leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. He said, if you are, it's a conditional prayer. It's a conditional request. He says, if you are willing, if you want to make me clean, you can. If you want to make me whole, you can. What did the master say? What did Jesus say? He says, then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Now, for you to understand healing and for you to receive your miracle, there are two things that are important. Number one, God is able to heal all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. We have seen that in chapter 4. The second one, is God willing? God is able. We have settled that. But is he willing? And here, Jesus clearly shows us where the Bible says, he says, I am willing to be cleansed. Has he changed his mind concerning healing? Is he still willing to heal his people? Is he still willing to help people? Is he still willing to alleviate the suffering of people that ask him? He has not changed. Jesus paid the price for healing on that cross. The Bible says by his stripes we were healed. By his stripes we were healed. Therefore he paid the price for the healing of his people. And that's very, very important. Understand right now where you are wherever you're watching this clip for from he is willing to heal you the other third thing and finally that i want us to look at is uh, why does he heal and i'm going to refer it to the uh, to the same chapter chapter 8 and verse 16 the bible says when evening had come when evening had come they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick why that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah the prophet saying he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses it says that jesus healed all those who were brought to him for a reason what is that reason? The reason is that it might be fulfilled. What was spoken of in Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 is what we call a messianic prophecy. Talking about the coming of Christ. And what Christ would come to do. Therefore Christ has finally come. Christ is finally there. What is he doing? He is fulfilling the things that were spoken that he would come to fulfill. He is doing the things that we were told that he would come to do. And one of those things is healing people, alleviating the sicknesses and the suffering of people, taking away the oppression of the enemy through infirmity. That is what the Bible says. That scripture, he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses to the word bore there means he took them so as to carry them away he took them to carry them away and that is what he does he takes and carries away cancer he takes away asthma he takes away multiple sclerosis he takes away uh, spinal injury he takes away uh, uh, blindness he takes away deafness he takes away 
all manner of sickness and disease. Why? Because every time a person is healed by Jesus or through the name of Jesus, this is being fulfilled. He is fulfilling the purpose he came for. Every time somebody is set free from infirmity, it is being fulfilled what Jesus came to do. What he did, taking away our infirmity on that cross is being fulfilled. Even in our generation, even in our day, it is still being fulfilled. And you're asking me, Pastor, when we pray for the sick, by what authority do we pray for the sick? I will finish by sharing with you the authority that Christ has given us to pray for the sick so that when you go to your church or you go to a meeting or you tell a believer who is next to you to pray for you or you go to pray for somebody, you know that you have not only been given the authority or the, the, the power to spread the gospel, but also to heal the sick. In the book of uh, Matthew chapter 9, the Bible says, verse 35, it says, Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every, the key word there is every, he did not leave anybody out. Every sick, sickness and every disease among the people. But you're telling me, Pastor, that is Jesus. Okay, chapter 10, verse 1, he says, And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all, to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. So Jesus was healing all kinds. He gives his disciples the, the power to heal all kinds of diseases. It continues in verse 7. And he says, And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Therefore he has given us Power. We are his disciples now. Now we are the disciples. We are his followers now. We are the preachers now. We are his witnesses now. And this verse applies. He says, wherever you go, Pastor Morris, preaching the word, heal the sick. Wherever you go, my brother and my sister, preaching the word, heal the sick. Because healing the sick is a major part of the gospel is a major part of salvation. Wherever you are today and you feel that the enemy has tormented you through sickness and infirmity, I want to end this presentation by making a prayer for your healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. Thank you because of healing, the power to heal the body. I rebuke that condition. I rebuke that infirmity infirmity sickness and disease leave that body that is the dwelling place of god that is a uh, the, the the temple of the living god get out of that body be healed my brother be healed my sister right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet receive your healing as a right from calvary in jesus name kindly like it comment share and subscribe See you next time on Gospel Talk. God bless you.